and welcome. Today, I'm gonna show you how to select the right pole dancing shoes for your budget. on one pair of pole dancing shoes. What are you going to pick? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to pick out the right pair of pole dancing shoes for your budget and your pole dancing needs. My name is Ms. Den Exodus, and this is the Church of the Post Apocalypse. Welcome. So back when I was still working as an exotic dancer, I also had an eBay store where I sold shoes online. Now this was back in the early 2000s, so things are different now. I'm not, I'm, I've been away from it for a while. I don't sell shoes anymore, but at the time I was dancing, I was also selling shoes because I was traveling around the country and I didn't have real good access to shoe stores like we have in big cities. Um, can you imagine trying to find some place, say, North Dakota, to find a pair of shoes that might look like this? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. So, um, back in the early 2000s, there wasn't a lot online to purchase from as well. It was a little harder. So I had my own online store on eBay and I carried exotic dancer shoes. But like I said, it's been a very long time since I've done this, so I'm not making any brand recommendations. I just happen to have pleasers. So that's what we're gonna be working with, our pleaser shoes. This is the go-to brand for pole dancers. Um, I don't care if you're a straight up club stripper or if you are into pole sport, everybody is wearing the pleaser shoe brand. Um, I'm sure there must be other quality brands out there for pole dancing aside from pleaser, but I keep selecting the pleaser brand because I I'm used to it, it's comfortable, and I know it's a shoe that I can count on to hold up. So I need a shoe that's gonna hold up to the rigors that I put it through. So that's why I go with the pleasers. So there's three basic types of shoes that you wanna avoid if you're just getting started. So I brought this one out because this is that exact type of shoe. These are very expensive shoes. I probably paid almost $200 for this particular pair of shoes. These are designed for performing, posing, modeling, videography. They're not a day-to-day, -day, everyday kind of wear shoe. I've only worn mine a few times, um, but it's already got some damage. Now, I don't know how much you can see on the camera here, but oh, I love these shoes. I wish I could wear these more. These are some of my favorites right here. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but the Velcro is kind of pulling away from the ankle strap. So, uh, and then on this other one here, you can see where one of the um, decorations came off. You know, on the front, you're starting to see where it's getting worn down. It also has, uh, it's not great for performing, and you'll learn this later, you can't kip your heel very well with this one. It does have the roll in the front for the heel kip, but it's not straight on the front. So it's, it's difficult to do some moves in these shoes. These are not designed for beginner dancers, I guess is what I'm saying. Another type of shoe that you wanna avoid is anything that's designed for streetwear primarily. Street shoes, street pumps might look great, but they don't hold up to the rigor of dancing. They will break within an hour or two of wearing if you're dancing in most kinds of street pumps. Um, and I will, we're gonna have a section later where we're gonna go to the Pleaser online store and I'll kind of show you what we're looking at there. I just wanted to throw that out here. Um, the third kind of shoe you don't wanna wear as, as a pole dancer is anything that's really expensive. If you paid $1,000 for those shoes, save them for a performance get married in them <laughs> save them for a special occasion it's not something that you would want to wear your pole dancing shoes for certainly not for practice class and definitely not in a club environment not unless you want to have your ass beat and somebody steal your shoes off the bottom of your feet so leave the red soles for big performances modeling, posing. Um, if you get invited to a red carpet event, by all means, <laughs> wear your designer shoes. Otherwise, I would skip the designer shoes completely. You're just, you're gonna hate yourself. 
All right, right here I have a couple of budget styles of shoes for new dancers. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is a six inch heel. And I know all the pole schools are telling you don't go with a six inch heel, that a seven inch heel really is the minimum heel height. And I say you do you. If you're not comfortable on a seven inch heel, if the idea of getting into a seven inch heel is terrifying, and it can be, especially if you're a little bit older getting started. If you're 19 years old, heck girl, just go get some eight inch heels and go for it. But but if you're like 29 and then a whole bunch of years after that old, a shorter heel might feel more comfortable as you get started. So this one right here, this is the uh, Phantasma. I don't know, it is, it's one of Pleaser's discount brands. So I did get this off the Pleaser website. So this is a six inch heel. I like this one to get started because it is clear. So if you're going to do any club work in this heel, um, it'll match literally every outfit. You can see that it has the straight front, unlike this one, where it's a little jagged. I don't know if you can see the difference on those two. Hopefully my shirt is pink enough to add some contrast behind the video. This is what you're looking for in a pole dancing shoe. You want a nice straight front. So this is a perfectly clear six inch heel. I think I paid 40 or maybe $45 for this pair of shoes. It's got an ankle strap for extra support and it's got the sandal front across the toe. So six inches, definitely okay to get started if this is just more comfortable for you as a new dancer. Um, I also prefer the six inches because I'm pretty tall. I'm almost five foot seven. I, I don't really want to tower over people. So I like to have a little bit shorter heel, especially if I'm hustling in the clubs, I want to have a shorter heel. So that way men can still look kind of down, you know, gaze down into my eyes or whatever. So yeah, six inch heels. And then moving on. So this is pleasers. I don't know if you can see it right there. I hope my camera's focusing correctly. I hope I turned it on. I did, okay, good. All right. So, right there. Pleasers, pleasers. Oh. All right, and these, I like these too. This is my favorite style. This is a seven inch heel right here i love the mule style now the last one that i showed you had the ankle strap i don't really care to wear the ankle strap i prefer a full mule style shoe um, it just feels more comfortable to me my ankles are super sensitive and when these things start cutting into my ankles it's really hard to perform so i just go with the mule shoe if i feel like i'm not stable enough I will get some leg wraps link a picture so that way you can see what a leg wrap is and wrap it around the bottom of the shoe and around my leg so that way I can feel like I'm more stable in my shoe but I prefer to have the mule style I find that the seven inch well let me pull out that six inch again so this way you can see the difference between the two heel heights and then also checking out the platform on the front, you can see there's a pretty big difference there. I like these in the chrome because again, they will match literally anything. And then the clear top. So this, this is my preferred kind of shoe right here, actually, if I could. This is my preferred style of shoe. These will last you a long time. So let me show you. These are my faves. I wear these all the time. As you can see, they look pretty beat up right now. But these are my faves. I've danced in these for years and years. I still practice in these all the time. So these are my favorite practice shoes. You see me wearing these in my other videos here. Just really love these shoes. And we'll go to the website and find out what the price of the uh, the chrome are. I want to say these are closer to $80, but I can't remember exactly what I paid for them. So as you go from just the plain clear, you start moving into a little more expensive shoe as you start adding some style. And then as they get really complicated, like these here with all the decorations on them, they get quite costly. You could spend easily $500 on a pair of stripper heels. 
Um, this is an ankle boot, and a lot of dancers do prefer to wear the ankle boot. As you can see, they don't have many sizes in stock right now. As I was going through the website, I was actually really surprised at how low of inventory that they have at the moment. So I don't know that I would recommend that you shop at Pleaser right now, unless you have kind of an off-size shoe that you wear. Um, I did find Pleaser shoes on Amazon uh, available. Um, and then of course, there's probably some online stores. You may be able to find them at adult shops. Uh, there's, I, I live in a large city. I live in Portland, Oregon. And we have lots of places to shop for exotic dancer wear. It just looks like the Pleaser website doesn't have a lot in stock right now. And probably like most things, they're suffering from not being able to get inventory in from overseas, I'm guessing. So here you see these booties, uh, $128.95, but oh man, they are hot. Love those silver booties. A lot of dancers prefer to perform in the um, ankle boots. I don't care for boots personally. I've never been able to dance in them comfortably, so I always go with a mule or a sandal style shoe. But lots of women love, uh, well guys too, male pole dancers like them too, the boot style. So it's just a matter of personal preference as to what you're going to prefer. As far as budget options though, the two pairs of shoes that I showed you earlier um, are going to be your best budget option. Just to let you know, I am recording this video on the, in the first week of June of 2021. So this may change. Pleasers availability may change as they are able to get more shipments in. But you know, if, if you've tried to buy anything lately, you know some, some very specialty items, especially in related to clothing, are getting a little harder to find. And as you can see, the Pleaser website has a really good variety of different colors and styles of the sandal style pump, you know, real specialty looking. I love all the various different heel heights and designs and styles that they offer. All right, right here, this here is the six inch shoe. Looks like they're selling it for $42.95 right now and it's marked as sold out. Darn it, okay. So, but that is the shoe that we were looking at today that I was showing you um, on my unboxing. Uh, maybe keep an eye on that. Okay, let's keep looking and see what we can find for a good price on stripper shoes. So we're gonna go out to Amazon next and let's see what Amazon has as far as stripper shoes go. It's like between 50 and $70. I guess it just really depends on the seller in this case. Um, so it's uh, $65. So shoes are expensive. Maybe I'll sell the pair I have because I don't plan on wearing them to dance. So let's see what other kinds of options we have available here. Uh, this one for 45 and a black pair there. Another black pair for 41 right here. These are pretty good. These are the patent leather. I'll let, provide you with a little more pole grip. So you can find some affordable shoes here on Amazon. These are probably individual shoe sellers, possibly house moms who are listing it up here on Amazon trying to offload their inventory. So you do have options outside of the Pleaser website. All right, since I was just gonna only feature Pleaser here on this video, except for the fact that um, they seem to be really low on inventory right now. So let's go take a look at SNAS 75 also. So I've purchased shoes from them. This is kind of like an inside baseball type of website. A lot of the exotic dancers and the house moms get their shoes from SNAS 75. Generally, you can find pretty good prices on them. So it looks like that one there, $41.95. Excellent price for my favorite shoe. So SNAS 75 has a good selection. They also have dancer costumes and outfits and boots and shoes and lingerie and you know pretty much anything you would need for clubbing or performing. 
so I just wanted to give you this quick tutorial update. A lot of us are getting back out there. Pole schools are starting to open again and clubs have been open for a while actually, but they're really starting to get going again and they're gonna need more staff. Girls are starting to come back out and start working. So I thought maybe I would just help you out with some new shoe selection. So I have linked the Pleaser website in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, if you don't mind clicking the like button and subscribing if you're looking for more and unusual content. So if you like shoes, click like. This has been the Church of the Post Apocalypse. My name is Ms. Jen Exodus. If you would like to see more of my videos, just go ahead and click like and subscribe to get updated whenever I post anything new. Um, otherwise, I will have a link coming up of another video that the algorithm seems to think you would like. So go ahead and click on that too. Um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.